Wait, wait, wait. Back it up. Why don't we go back in time about 20 minutes and see how that flock of frickin' sheep got to fly through the air. Welcome to Jim's Mine. Howdy folks, my name's Jim, and I'm meeting you on a very special day. Today is moving day. As much as I love my skelevator and my hot and cold running skeletons, as soothing as it is to watch them fall to their deaths, I've got to move on. Uh, I just don't have enough room here, and, you know, I, I can't build from bedrock to sky like I'd like, because just above me, right over there, is my farmhouse. And just beyond that, I was about 600... You know what? Excuse me for just a second. Shut up! <sighs> I didn't even get them all. Oh, for pity's sake. I said shut up! That's much better. So yeah, 600 skeletons floating just up the... Skeletons. 600 farm animals floating just up there. I need to move on. So I'm selling this place to my buddy Smeldon, and I'm moving out. Uh, I've got bigger and better things to do. I want to build from bedrock to sky. I want to have a place so big that I can have multiple levels with multiple projects going on and never get bored. And this just is not it. So my goal for today is to take you topside, show you my farm, bring you back down here, get a quick tour of what I'm giving up, and then I'm going to start on a project that will make this so enticing that Elden will pay top dollar for the facility. Alright, we're going to head up right now. Okay, here we are at the top of my railway from my lab, right behind the secret door that keeps out the riffraff. Uh, this is a storage room that I built intentionally crappy looking so that Nobody would guess that right back there is the door to all my good stuff. I don't typically let anyone down there. Um, nothing fancy here. This is the, one of the first things I ever built. And I like it very much uh, because of that. It's a simple farmhouse for a simple farm. Uh, my whole idea here was that I would do everything very free-range, very organic, and... Uh, I think I've accomplished that. Oh. Hey, Bess. That's my friend Bess. She thinks she's a fish. Anyway, yeah, it's very organic, very simple, very free-range. And this is not at all what my next farm is going to be like. I built this on the, the idea that I have all this wide-open space. Lots and lots of room, because, you know, in Minecraft, three-quarters of the reason I play is because I've got this giant 8-bit environment. I grew up with 8-bit games... And, you know, it's very nostalgic for me. And to look at this huge, you know, vast expanse, it makes me think how much I would have loved to have this when I was a kid. And uh, I just didn't. Now it's here, so I use all of this space. You know, every time I run down one of these rows, I get a stack of wheat. Anytime I want, I can come over here and kill off a whole bunch of chickens, you know, by hand. The old-fashioned way. Get some blood on my clothes. And uh, the next one, let's just say it won't be PETA approved. It won't be free range. Uh, animals will be miserable and wish they were dead. Which, you know, is convenient because they soon will be. Here, you know, it's a little crowded. And I can tell you guys want something from me, don't you? What do you want from me, honey? I know what it is. It's sweet release. Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, those stakes are on the house. Anyway. Um, so, I built this farm along those lines. The next one's going to be very different. And to give you a little bit of perspective here, I'll come back. This is a road that I never finished. It's supposed to go off to my other properties, but, you know, I stopped here. Lazy, lazy. Load, rainbow, load. I've got my rainbow. My daughter wanted me to... Oh, I have a daughter. She's four years old. And she said to me, Daddy, can I please have a rainbow? I said, sure, sweetie. And now, you know what? I like the rainbow more than she does. I like to come home to my farmhouse 
and see the the rainbow right up over top. Even at night, you can see it because I've covered you know the orange pumpkins or rather jack o' lanterns. So when I come home, I can see it shining in the background. And that is Lag Farms. Uh, I guess now that you've seen this, we can head back downstairs. We'll get started on that project. And rather than drag you all the way down the uh, the railway, I'll just pop you down there right now. Okay, here we are back in the lab, and I thought I'd just show you real quick. Up above my zombie spawner, I've got a tree farm with a little bit of sugarcane and some melons. This is essentially, you know, where I grow all of the things that I need to run the lab. And it sort of exemplifies the purpose behind the structure of the lab. Uh, when I found the skeleton spawner, the first thing I did was make a really simple trap that would let me get more arrows. Now, I've decided that I'm going to build everything I need around it. So you've got, you know, all the pumpkins, or rather, all the melons, all the sugar cane for potions, you've got trees for lumber, and all of this is just above the spawner. In fact, it's within 16 blocks of the spawner, which keeps it active. And that means when I come up here to harvest my sugar cane, harvest my melons, uh, grow the trees, and, you know, take a few minutes to watch the skeletons spawn and fall down. <laughs> So long, suckers. <laughs> anyway, and take a few minutes to watch the skellies go through the skelevator. All that time, skeletons are spawning, experience is building, and I've got more and more stuff. I've got more arrows, I've got more bones for fertilizer. Uh, when I come down here to do my enchanting, the spawner's going. When I come down here to do the potions, it's going. When I'm over here in the storage room, it's going. And when I'm building stuff in my room of requirement, it's going. So when I'm done, I can walk over here take out a potion, and kill them. You know, I let fall damage do most of the work and then blast them with a splash potion. Yeah, that's how, that's that's just how I roll. Alright, so, uh, let's see, what else have I got going on here? I'm very frugal, that's something you should probably know about me. I use stone tools to mine a lot, which you will never see because it takes forever. Um, I just recently made diamond armor because I've got more diamonds than I know what to do with. And I got 21 blocks of diamonds. I just don't use them. Uh, I've got every scrap of gunpowder. Ooh, where'd that go? Oh no. Hmm. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've got every scrap of gunpowder I ever used turned into TNT. That gave me a scare. Man, I wonder how I did that. Let's put you back where you belong. Um, I've saved every scrap of gunpowder I've ever gotten. I don't have a proper mob spawner, so this was all gained over quite a long while with a looting three sword and lots of elbow grease. But, see, I save it all, and I'm intended to use this to start my new area, my new mob spawner, when I build from bedrock to sky, this is how I'm going to get down to bedrock, at least a little way. All right, let's get cracking on that sign. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, what I want to do is I want to build a flashing sign. I want to build a giant S for Smeldon, and I want to have it flashing with gold and beautiful. So beautiful that he can't help but say, yes, I'll give you everything I own just to have that sign. And we won't mention that I made it with his gold. I've got everything prepped here. I think I've got everything I need sitting right here. I've got some tracks, a lever. Okay, good. I've got everything I need. What we're going to do is we're going to build a sign that uses just the one light. Uh, as I understand it, when you have multiple lights, let's say you have 20 lights making this S, 20 redstone lamps, each one of those lamps is going to cause a lighting update on every block that it touches within a 15 block radius. So you go ahead and you take every block in a 15 block radius and multiply that by 20. Uh, not to mention when you build a timer you're gonna have redstone and repeaters. When you when you wire up the back of the sign you're gonna have redstone and maybe repeaters running to every block on the back. Well instead of doing that I'm going to put one redstone lamp right here and let that do the work of all of them on top of one reflective surface. Now to make the shape all I'm gonna do just take these here uh, half slabs and fill it in. The reason I'm using half slabs, I will illustrate momentarily. Uh, 
but I'll tell you for now. The reason I'm using half slabs is that in the open space, it still blocks the light. So these are half slabs and these are half slabs. These blocks, no light will pass. Same deal here, same deal up there. The only place you're going to get light through is right here. And that's going to help with, uh, with the reflection. I can still have light out here so mobs don't spawn and see the flash behind. It works on the same principle as the mob spawner. I've used stairs to uh, block the light so I can still look in and the light doesn't affect my spawn rates. Uh, this is, you know, a while back stairs were transparent so you couldn't do this, but then Mojang got the bright idea to make them opaque. And now that they're opaque, I'm exploiting it in the opposite direction for a different purpose. Uh, that's what I'm going to do over here. Next, we're going to need a timer. And I'm sure you've probably seen this before. I looked, I didn't see it anywhere, so technically I thought of it myself, but I'm sure I cannot be the first person to come up with this. <laughs> I, bet, I bet a pretty quick YouTube search would find somebody else who's done the same thing. But what we're going to do is make a railway timer. A lot simpler. Anybody can do it. It's a little easier on the system resources, I'm pretty sure. And everybody likes to work with rails. Even Eldon, who doesn't use redstone, uses rails. Speaking of which, he was supposed to be on by now. I don't know where he is. Uh, but he's frequently late, so we'll give him, we'll give him a little time. Okay, now let's get uh, a little bit of this action. One of these. Ta-da! And that is our timer. Now we need our light. I think I got that right here. Yoink. Um okay. We'll do yeah, we're gonna need to do it like this. That'll do it. And redstone. And that's our timer. Okay, now we've got our timer, we've got our light, the last thing we need, oh, and we've also got our shape, the last thing we need is our reflective surface, for which we'll use Elden's gold. And nobody's going to tell Elden that we used his gold, are we? No, we're not. That's good, good viewers. Okay, let's put this here. And one of these here. And let's cross our fingers and pray we have enough. Whoops. I counted his gold before I decided on the size of this, so this should be just about perfect. here so no light gets in. No light gets in over there. Silly me. Now all we need to do is start the timer. And there's your timer. As you can see I have one major difference. Um, I lengthened the track. Yeah this is this is a, a full two pieces longer now. No I'm just kidding. I know there's a zombie in there. No. <laughs> Okay, but there is one real difference I want to I want to make here. Let's pop these guys up. This is too long. There we go. Let's see how this works. There it goes. That's much better. Okay, see now you got a very nice timer. Uh, no redstone, no repeaters. Should help out a bit with the lag. come out here and have a look at how this bad boy performs. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, one thing I should mention, you'll notice it's getting pretty dark up in front of here when the lights are off. That is not something that I would do if I were going to keep this place. I would actually put this either maybe high up on a wall or maybe high up on a hill 
uh, so mobs don't spawn. You can light up your floor and it'll still get nice and dark in there. Actually, maybe I'll show you a little bit later. I'll block all the lights. It gets really dark and then the flash is super obvious. It looks very nice. Uh, the other thing I'd like to point out, uh, I'm sorry, first, and I have glowstone here. So I'm not actually going to leave Elden with a mob spawning patch to blow up all of his gold. Although I probably could. He didn't notice that I stole the gold in the first place. Uh, so he can't be that quick on the uptake. Uh, the second thing, though, is I want to point out that the system resources needed to run this flashing sign are very low. Um, when I built this, I built it on creative mode. It was the first time I've ever done anything on creative mode. I did it about a week ago. I built a giant gem first out of redstone lanterns and it crashed my laptop hard. I could run it on the desktop, which is what I'm using now, uh, reasonably well, though it really lowered my frame rates. When I built the giant gym with the gold background and the, I had two flashing lights per letter, it ran perfectly on my laptop, and I could back up to a far render distance and everything you know, worked smoothly, it was very pretty. So I highly recommend this style flashing sign for anybody with bad system resources. And, you know, I just want to take a second to point out that this is the kind of thing that I intend to do in this series. I want to take something that's kind of complicated and, you know, needlessly complex, and I want to make it simple. And honestly, it does not get much simpler than this. You know, maybe somebody else has done this. I couldn't find it on YouTube. I'm sure it's out there, but it wasn't easy for me to find, and, you know, here it is for you. I hope you like it. Okay, uh, I'm going to give Elden one more call. He was actually supposed to be here by now. It's really getting kind of frustrating. Uh, he knew this was going to be my first episode, and he said he was going to come on, and he's not here. So, I don't know. I get Maybe the episode's shot. I don't know. Maybe I won't even air it. Um, I'm going to call him again, and if he can't show up, I guess I'll figure something out. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to give him a call. So, I just talked to Eldon again, and he says again that he can't get on. I'm starting to think maybe he doesn't want to buy it. Although, you know, maybe I just need to lower the price. Or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll think of something. So I stand in here in the dark admiring this sign and thinking, boy, you know, Elden's gold, it's so pretty when it shines in the light. So very reflective. Just perfect material for this sign. And then I realized, you know what? That's all Elden's gold. And then I realized, you know what? I don't really have a use for this place anymore. Then I look down and... Huh. What's this? <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna do some more of that. Okay, so I guess Elden wants to buy this place after all, big a mess as it is, and he says he'll do it, but he wants me to rebuild it. I wasn't going to do it. I was going to tell him no, uh, but then I went and looked on the wiki, and apparently there is a way to get your lost buildings back. You know, I didn't have a world save or anything. I mean, I did, but it's really old, and... I guess all you have to do, and this, I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is a troll, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, you know, I saw 
watching a Feed the Beast on YouTube, and they had something similar. So who knows? Maybe you know, maybe this will work. Um, it says that you, you have to put flowers in a circle around a hole, and it has to be on dirt. And then you put water in the hole. This seems pretty standard from what I've seen in some mods. I, I don't believe that there's anything like this in vanilla Minecraft, but, you know, we'll find out. Then you toss your wand, which in this case is a lever. See? Wand. Chuck it in the water. And this is where it gets really goofy. But I'm going to try it anyway because I'm desperate. And if it works, <laughs> hooray. But I don't, I don't see this happening. I guess you have to do a little dance on the four corners. So, uh, according to the wiki, the dance is... Uh, down, down, jump, jump. Okay, it's one. Down, down, jump, jump. Wee. Okay, it's two. Down. Oh, oh, crap, I screwed it up. Let's try it again. Down, down, jump, jump. Do, do, do. Down, down, jump, jump. Down, down, jump, jump. Down, well. Oh, down, down, jump jump. Alright, I might have screwed it up, but if I did, oh well. Here we go. In we go. Pick up your wand. Look at the structure you want to come back and shake it. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah, I think I just got trolled. That's what I get for trusting a reference that anyone can edit. This this was a ridiculous waste of time. I'm sorry, guys. This is this was dumb. Oh well. What you gonna do? Oh, oh. Okay. That's strange. What should I like? Should I like shake it again? Holy crap! I would not have believed it, but there it is. Okay. Um. Well. I take back everything I said about the wiki. Well, anyway, guys, I guess I don't have to spend any time rebuilding this now. So in the next episode, I think I'm going to start the series off right by ending the game. Yeah, I think I'm going to go kill the Ender Dragon. We'll see if we can't get Elden to tag along. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the episode, and if you did, please feel free to pat yourself on the back for finding me. Nice job. And if you didn't like it, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try and do better next time. Thanks for watching.